Hey guys, what's going on? Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock wind-up. Well, surprise, surprise came a couple of days ago as Heaven's Basement frontman Aaron Buchanan stepping down from the group. I guess they're going to be holding some tryouts to look for a new singer. They do have a bunch of shows already uh, tied down in the month of December, uh, presumably over in Europe, and they've tapped uh, Danny Warsnop, formerly of Asking Alexandria, currently of We Are Harlot, to fill in. Uh, as for the future of Heaven's Basement, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well, Godsmack frontman Sully Erner has done a handful of movies. Uh, he's notching that on his creative belt. And he's already uh, looking to do another one called Black F Files. Black Files. Uh, I guess they're going to start doing an Indiegogo campaign starting November 1st. But here is the synopsis, the elevator pitch, if you will. The family of the U.S. ambassador in an East European country is slaughtered. The world's media attention is now pointed at Sofia, Bulgaria. Top CIA agent is assigned to find out who is responsible for the assault. He recruits a local rookie cop and they dig deeper into a world of corruption terrorism and international crime they go the deeper they go the more they realize that the truth is hidden behind non-existing powerful organizations named black flop i want to say black flies but that's not it black files mission impossible style Earlier this year, it was announced that Super Suckers frontman Eddie Spaghetti uh, was battling cancer. He is now completely 100% cancer-free as of announcement this week and down to a very cool and slim 160 pounds. So congratulations to Eddie, and everyone knows this, f cancer. Well, there's no secret that Glenn Danzig does not like to be photographed, and Neil Dalton up in Canada learned that the hard way this week, at least according to what his Facebook posts and what's been circling around social media shows. Uh, he allegedly went to a concert, watched Danzig, tried, tried to take a picture of him, and then got beat up uh, by not only Danzig security, but also Danzig himself. Uh, no word from the Danzig camp. However, it was announced by Glenn this week that he's pretty much tired of touring. He turned like 62 in June or something like that. So uh, he's basically getting ready to get off the road. So know this much to all you kids that wear the Misfits shirts and have no idea about the Misfits and who started the Misfits and even any other songs by the Misfits, you might not be able to even see Danzig anymore. Bummer. And to close out your weekly rock wind up, all the new action being announced this week. Well, Superjoint, uh, formerly Superjoint Ritual, have been uh, ripping it up since last year. According to frontman Phil Anselmo, they are working on some brand new stuff. That's pretty exciting right there. 30th anniversary edition of Stormtroopers of Death Classics debut album, Speak English or Die, is going to be available November 27th via Megaforce Records. Uh, now, uh, Stormtroopers of Death, uh, more affectionately known as S.O.D., started up, of course, by uh, Scott Ian, also had drummer from Anthony as well. Charlie Benedante, ex-Anthrax bassist Dan Lilliker, and uh, Psycho's bassist Billy Milano on vocals. And uh, looking forward to that one. Hopefully it comes out on the old vinyl, since I'm a nerd like that. Rammstein! I don't know if I mentioned this last week or not, but they are working on some new stuff, which is super dope. Hopefully that means uh, a tour and a, and a trip through Kansas City be badass uh not so much new music but congratulations i suppose are in order to twisted sister and uh well really d snyder of snyder music looks like he sold his uh c catalog to universal music publishing group his music so far has been used in tons of commercials and films as well as uh, uh um, what else was it the uh the uh, Rock of Ages theater production. And Husker Du allegedly getting back together to talk about doing some things. Uh, there's a very first official website popped up as well as a Facebook page. And uh, back in like 2014, Bob Mould said uh, over the past year and a half, the three of us have had conversations, things are moving forward, so hopefully that means uh, something new from them. A lot of people uh, are fans of Husker Du just because of the influence they had on so many other musicians, namely Dave Grohl. Uh, I am Nivens. Thank you very much for tuning in to your weekly rock windup. Of course, go Royals tonight, this evening. Let's not stretch it out into an, uh, a Saturday game, okay? Let's just pin it down, button it down tonight, uh, take the crown and all that. And uh, good luck to the Chiefs on Sunday. Have a great weekend. Peace.